mesen chymal tumors of breast and the most important amongst them are hemangioma of breast it is a benign proliferation of mature blood vessels the subtypes are perilobular hemangioma venous hemangioma cavernous hemangioma capillary hemangioma they are reported from 18 months to 82 years hemangioma may occur in the mammary parenchyma or subcutaneous tissue it presents as a palpable breast lesion or as a suspicious lesion on mammogram it may be an incidental finding in mastectomy performed for carcinoma gross appearances they are usually less than 2 cm in size they are firm well defined hemorrhagic masses or dark spongy lesion within breast parenchyma microscopic features they are typically found in perilobular region the tumor is composed of well differentiated proliferating dilated and congested vascular channels which may be interconnecting the vascular spaces are lined by b9 appearing endothelial cells the vessels are surrounded by fibrous stroma the cavernous hemangiomas are the commonest form there is no evidence of nuclear atypia mitosis or necrosis immunohistochemistry cd31 cd34 endothelial cells are positive mib1 shows low values this photograph shows microscopic appearances of a cavernous hemangioma of breast in which there are blood filled large vascular spaces separated by connective tissue stroma this is an other photograph showing microscopic appearances of a circumscribed aggregate of capillary sized blood vessels in association with a lobule and it is a perilobular hemangioma of the breast angiosarcoma of the breast the primary angiosarcoma of the breast is a malignant primary endothelial neoplasm of mammary stroma not associated with radiation its location is parenchyma rather than cutaneous it is a rare breast tumor however accounts for a quarter of all primary breast sarcomas may be found in women of all ages mean age between 30 and 40 years it may present as a rapidly growing painless mass which causes red blue discoloration to the overlying skin cases of primary angiosarcoma arising in pregnant women are well documented gross appearances it is a variable sized mass ranging from 1 to 20 cm but average size is 4 to 5.5 cm it is hemorrhagic diffuse multinodular mass it is well circumscribed and poorly defined the well circumscribed tumors have hemorrhagic spongy appearance whereas the poorly differentiated tumors are more solid and fleshy consisting of firm grayish white tissue with areas of necrosis it has infiltrative margins cut surface shows an ill defined friable spongy and hemorrhagic mass cystic degenerations and necrosis often seen in high grade lesions the tumor is located deep in the breast parenchyma they are divided into three grades depending on histological findings low grade intermediate grade and high grade low grade the tumor consists of open irregular vascular channels the tumor is characteristically infiltrates into the adjacent 
breast lobules the hyperchromatic nuclei may be seen but lack significant pleomorphism the mitotic activity is rare to absent the endothelial tufting is minimal the papillary formations solid and spindle cell areas blood lakes and necrosis are absent the low grade tumor give deceptively benign appearance intermediate grade or grade 2 the tumor shows irregular vascular channels with focal areas of increased vascularity due to endothelial tufting and papillary fronds that project into the vascular lumens the degree of cellularity is used to distinguish low grade from intermediate grade tumors the tumor cells are hyperchromatic and show a moderate degree of pleomorphism the tumor shows infiltration into the adjacent lobules the mitotic activity the solid areas and spindle cell areas are infrequent the blood lakes and necrosis are absent high grade or grade 3 tumors they are highly cellular lesion with endothelial tufting and increased degree of papillary formation the tumor cells show marked pleomorphism there is high mitotic rate often with atypical mitotic figures there is typically extensive hemorrhage with blood lake formation necrosis is present the solid or spindle cell areas resembling fibrosarcoma or malignant fibrous histiocytoma may be seen this is the photograph of a low grade angiosarcoma of the breast it shows a vascular lesion with infiltrating and dissecting growth encasing the mammary lobules another photograph showing intermediate grade angiosarcoma of breast showing vaso formation and multilayering and intravascular papillary projections of the proliferating endothelial cells another photograph showing microscopic features of high grade angiosarcoma of breast showing it is mainly composed of solid growth with only few vaso formation high mitotic activity and cytological atypia can be seen immunohistochemistry factor 8 endothelial cells positive cd31 and 34 endothelial cells positive in more than 90% of cases cytokeratin negative in most cases but epithelioid areas may be positive in up to 35% of cases granular cell tumor of breast it is a benign neuroectodermal tumor derived from schwann cells and composed of epithelioid cells with abundant lysosome rich granular cytoplasm about 8% of granular cell tumors arise in the breast other common sites include head and neck region in particular the tongue proximal extremities gastrointestinal tract most commonly esophagus and respiratory tract the tumor is single in breast but may be multifocal the skin and subcutaneous involvement is most common but the breast parenchyma can also be involved the lesions in the skin are firm flesh color to red the tumor cause skin retraction nipple inversion and pectoral fascia involvement seen between 19 to 77 years of age however commonly found in premenopausal women children and men less commonly affected present as a firm painless solitary mass more frequently in the upper inner quadrant mimics carcinoma on mammography gross appearances firm 
हार्ड मैस विद वेल सर्कमस्क्राइब और ओकेजनली इन्फिल्ट्रेटिव बॉर्डर टिपिकली मयर्स लेस देन फाइव सेंटीमीटर ग्रे वाइट और टैन ऑन कट सर्फेस माइक्रोस्कोपिक फीचर्स इट इज कम्पोज ऑफ नेस्ट और शीट्स ऑफ पोलिग्नल सेल्स विद अबंडेंट योसिनोफिलिक साइटोप्लाजमिक ग्रेन्यूल्स द सेल्स हैव यूनिफॉर्म राउंड सेंट्रली लोकेटेड हाइपरक्रोमेटिक न्यूक्लियाई रेयरली विद ओपन क्रोमेटिन एंड प्रोमिनेंट न्यूक्लियोलाई Occasional mitotic figures may be seen. The infiltrative growth pattern with poorly defined borders often surrounds the lobules and invades the adipose tissue. Perineural and perivascular involvement is frequent. Immunohistochemistry as 100 protein it highlights cytoplasmic granularity with strong cytoplasmic and nuclear staining carcino embryonic antigen shows diffuse immuno reactivity cytokeratin and epithelial membrane antigen negative actin myoglobin desmin negative estrogen receptor and progesterone receptor negative now this photograph shows microscopic features of granular cell tumor of breast the tumor cells infiltrate the breast parenchyma in small nests separated by delicate fibrous bands now you can notice that the cells of this tumor have got eosinophilic granular cytoplasm